Welcome, my dear sweet friends. This is the channel Frugal Money Saver. I'm Emmy. My husband is Paul. Paul and I are so happy you have joined us today. We have a packed video again. We had a frugal date day the other day and we take you along on that. Then we take you food shopping where we discovered a brand new store that we had never been in, a grocery store. Wow, the prices. And then we went on to two other stores and we made food shopping into like a game. It was like a treasure hunt of good deals. And I think we spent $14 in total. And then what we do is come home and cook a warm, delicious crock pot meal. Perfect for this time of year. Please stay with us and let's get right to this video. The first thing we wanna do is show you who stopped by our bird feeder. I've got to share this with you. Here it is. That is a red-bellied woodpecker. We were so excited. He's not a bird we commonly see around here. We do have the little downy woodpecker visits our feeder all the time, but this is a larger woodpecker. He was absolutely beautiful, and we were able to capture him just to share it with you a little bit. You know, so much of our frugal journey is about saving money and making the best decisions with our money and how do we stretch our dollar. We need to remember the attitude we have while going about our frugal journey is the most important thing while we save this money. Having an attitude of gratitude, looking at the little things in life and realizing they're really the big things in life makes our frugal journey an absolute pleasure, a real joy. It has been so cold here, and I'm not kidding. We're talking teens during the day, single digits at night, very, very cold. But we did have a slight warm up. It went to like 28 degrees the other day, and Paul's like, we need to get out and just have some fun. And that's exactly what we did. We bundled up really well, and we headed down to the Hudson River, which is not far from our house. And we got to enjoy the wildlife and the water, and we took some footage that we're gonna share with you. And then after that, what we did is we went food shopping. We discovered a brand new little food store. The prices were out of this world. We took it inside with us. And then we visited two other stores to pick up their super special prices. I think we spent maybe $14 altogether and wait till you see what we got. So I'm gonna turn the camera around. You're gonna come on a date with us. Here we go. They have so many marked down vegetables. A dollar for two beautiful eggplants. The little sweet peppers, $1.99 a package. The tomatoes, $1.29 for a package. 99 cents a pound for red peppers. Orange peppers. Look at these, how beautiful. 99 cents a pound yellow peppers 79 for the pink lady 79 for the ever crisp the ludicrous is 79 a pound 
the red delicious are 79 a pound. So now you saw the footage of the store. Let me show you what we actually bought. And then I'll show you the receipt. These five, I'm assuming they're beefsteak tomatoes. They look like it, $1.29. And all of them were marked $1.29, and they all said they were eight ounce packages. They are not eight ounce packages. We're gonna weigh it and see. The peppers, like you saw, were 99 cents a pound. We picked the Holland type orange peppers for four of them. It was $1.67. Then I picked the Ludacrisp apples. They were 79 cents a pound. So that came to $1.30. Thirteen altogether. If you take a look at my receipt, it was four dollars and nine cents for all this produce, which is pretty darn amazing. Now, just for my own head, they said all the packages were marked eight ounces, and they were all a dollar twenty-nine for the tomatoes. I'm gonna put it on my digital scale just so we can say what it weighs. Okay, there you have it, two pounds, 12 ounces. Even if you're gonna take off for the plastic and the styrofoam, doesn't even come close. So two pounds of tomatoes for $1.29. I am so thrilled with this of produce for $4. I see stuffed peppers, I see some cheese and apples, maybe some BLTs, or what else do we do with tomatoes? Just cut them up into wedges, put them in the salad. Yeah, just they're so, just to have fresh tomatoes this time of year. We'll let you know how it all tastes, but it looks fresh, it looks beautiful, and we are super happy. The next store we stopped at was Acme. Their weekly freebie, their Saturday sampler, was the O Organics popcorn. And this is a five ounce bag and it was completely free. Didn't have to pay anything, didn't have to buy anything. But while I was in there, they had eggs, buy one, get one half price, and they were $1.99 a dozen. So I got one dozen for $1.99 and the other dozen for 99 cents. Two ninety eight dollars for 24 eggs. I thought that was a pretty great price. So this little mini haul to go with our other one was $2.98. So, so far we are doing great. Our last stop was Stop and Shop. Just wanted to see if they had any fun markdowns. And while I was there, I realized I needed some bananas. So I picked up two bananas and these two bananas were 36 cents because Paul does not eat bananas. <laughs> then I needed my one onion. I think I only have a quarter of the white sweet onion left, and that was 76 cents. You all know that I am pie crust challenged. I have tried to make pie crust. I just, I can't do it. I don't understand why I can't, but we have yet to get a flaky, delicious pie crust. And you all have been more than helpful with your tips and your hints and your recipes. Just not something I'm good at. Pie crust, Pillsbury, two per package, a dollar a package. So for $3, I got six pie crusts and no gray hairs. <laughs> They're good till mid-February, but I did look it up and you can freeze them for several months, no problem. So I have some blueberries in the freezer, so I'm thinking maybe a blueberry pie. And honestly, what I want more than anything, what did I tell you in the store I wanted, Paul? Pot pie. I want a chicken pot pie. <laughs> so I am so happy. This was awesome. The banana, the onion, and the pie crust came to $4.12, so we're adding that to our haul as well. And then we did pick up a gallon of milk. I forgot to show it at Acme, and I think that was $3.69. I will give you the total for the Apple Farm Market, for Acme, and now Stop and Shop, and that will be our weekly food that we bought this week. What we did was we made food shopping into a game. We really, really did. And it was part of our day day. It was so much fun. And the only money we spent was the money on the food we needed. So it really worked out so well. And that is what I'm trying to say. Every day is such a blessing. And the attitude we take 
going forward into our day will either help us to save money and be content while we're saving this money, or it will be a drag. And you don't want that. You want to enjoy every bit of your frugal journey. Now, I don't know if you caught it, but at the last scene, right before we went to the Apple Market, there was a picture of two birds in a tree. And while we were down by the river, we got to see two American bald eagles. They were amazing. We couldn't zoom in too much, but you still can see that that's what they are. And that was such a blessing. The total for the three shopping trip was $14.88. I know, right? It was so productive. If you remember, in two of our videos, we showed you the last two little lost leader shopping trips we had, and they were a total of $50 together. Today's was $14.88, so we're gonna say just about $65 we have spent on food this month. My freezer is, both my freezers are still packed. We just stock up on these lost leaders when we find them. And we have been eating out of our refrigerator pantry and our freezers. And it has been an amazing journey. So we still have $35 left and today is the 25th of January. We still have money if we need anything or some great deals come up. We are finding this way of shopping, finding the lost leaders, finding the discount item, finding those special sales in all the different stores, purchasing them at a discount price. We're not paying full price for anything. We're buying extra and we're putting it away. And that just seems to be working really well for us. Now what we're going to do is turn this camera around. We're going to get into the kitchen and we are going to make a delicious, warm crock pot pork chop, carrot, onion, gravy over mashed potato meal. So let's get right into the kitchen. We are making this warm, cozy, truly yummy crock pot pork chop recipe. And all we need is two pork chops. Now, if you have a larger family, of course, you're gonna wanna double this. And what we're gonna do to the pork chops is Paul's gonna trim off the fat and we're going to take out the bone. If you don't mind, then you can just put them in like this. You're gonna have to cook them a little bit longer with the bone in it. That is just way too much fat for me to put in the crock pot. If I was broiling it, it's something different. We're going to need two pork chops, quarter cup of flour, little Dijon mustard back there, a little Italian seasoning, some paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, and about a cup of chicken broth. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up a couple carrots and I'm going to add that in as well. Paul's going to trim the meat for us first. We trim these pork chops beautifully. See these pork bones? What do we do with these? I'm going to stick them in the freezer. And when I make a big pot of gravy, meaning tomato sauce for pasta, these will go in it. The flavor that pork bones give to your spaghetti sauce is beyond anything you have ever tasted. My grandmother used to do this. A lot of Italians do it. There is so much flavor left in these bones. Please don't waste them. I'm sure those of you in different parts of the country probably have different ways you can use these pork bones. But what I'm going to do is freeze them and then add them to my next pot of spaghetti sauce. Let them cook for at least an hour until they're done just to get that delicious flavor. First thing I'm doing is just putting a little bit of Dijon mustard on the pork. And that is going to give it such flavor. And I did do the other side already. Now what we're starting to do is make meat an accompaniment to our meals. So in other words, these two pieces of meat, and you're only supposed to have, what do they say, protein's supposed to be the palm of your hand. So we're like about right for a serving size. So what we're learning is to take this meat and bring it to the next level. This meal's going to have carrots in it, 
that we're gonna cook with the pork. It's gonna have a gravy. We're going to put it over mashed potatoes, have a green salad with it. So that this little piece of meat is going to elevate the dish completely. And you don't need a lot of meat to do that. That's the good thing. Now in this bowl, I am going to take a quarter cup of flour. I'm gonna put that in there. I'm gonna put a little bit of Italian seasoning. Give that a couple of good twists. I'm eyeballing this, but it's gonna be about a quarter teaspoon of onion powder and a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, roughly. And about a quarter teaspoon of paprika. There's the flour, did I tell you? <laughs> I don't think I have ever made a dish on here where flour has not gone flying. So you can add salt at this point to the flour mixture as well. Now I am just going to take these pork chops and coat them. Now you're probably thinking this is a lot of flour left over, but wait. And you can go heavier on the mustard if you want to. Okay, let's go over to our pan. We are gonna brown these first. This is about a tablespoon and a half of olive oil. And we're just browning them. We're not cooking them all the way through. This is medium high heat we're cooking it on right now. So you gonna just check. Ooh, that's looking good. See how that's nice and brown? We're gonna turn this one too. We're not cooking them, we're just browning them. So the first side I did for about a minute and a half. Just keep an eye. You just want it to look like this. It is going to cook fully in the crock pot. Here I have a cup and a half of my homemade chicken stock, but you can use whatever kind of chicken stock you want. I'm just going to add just a little tiny squirt of mustard to that because I didn't add a lot on the pork chops, so I think it'll give it a nice little zing. Remember all the leftover flour? You're going to put that right into this chicken stock. And we're going to give this a good whisk. And you can see all the delicious herbs and seasonings from when we added them to the flour. Now what I did is I heated my chicken stock up so the flour would dissolve. And it looks like it dissolved beautifully. So you may want to heat your chicken stock before you add the flour to it. Let's head over to the crock pot. In the crock pot, I added a couple of cut up carrots and about a quarter of a cut up onion. I think this is going to be amazing. Look at how beautiful these pork loins are. We're going to put one here. Remember, these are not cooked. You can see the red juice is showing they're not cooked. They will be cooking thoroughly in the crock pot. We just browned them. Now what we're going to do is pour in our cup and a half of chicken stock and the leftover flour mixture. Yeah, I, I'm feeling this is going to be really good. <laughs> what do you think? I think right now it smells delicious. I'm gonna cover it, put it on high, and it's gonna cook for about two and a half hours. And we'll check it. And I think these are going to just be fall apart tender. We'll put them over some mashed potatoes. Delicious. A simple country cooked meal. Oh my goodness. This cooked for just about three hours. You're gonna to wanna to check the temp of your pork internally, make sure it's over 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure it's cooked all the way through. Look at the gravy this made. The onions, do you hear Dixie? The onions just have softened the carrots. Oh my goodness, I just cut them with the spatula. This is going to be amazing. We made some mashed potatoes and we're going to serve it over that. Look at this gravy. Oh my goodness. This is a feast. We're having it with a side green salad. I am so looking forward to this meal. It is so cold still here. And this just made the whole house smell amazing. I can't wait to let you all know how this is. We wish you bon appetito. Paul, I'm gonna defer to you. How was that pork chop crock pot meal? That just came out so good. It was so delicious. It's It made the house smell good. It was fantastic. You gotta really try it. And it was easy. 
It was really good. Yeah. It was a win for sure. The pork was super tender. Just all in all, super easy, super economical because again, the meat was the star, but it wasn't a very large piece of meat, and it just enhanced the flavor of everything with the potatoes and the carrot. You could have even done it over noodles if you wanted, but we loved it over the mashed potatoes. It was so good. And we just paired it with a simple green toss salad. We show you what we do because we are an early retirement, debt and mortgage-free couple living in the state of New York. And our videos basically show you how to live a full abundant life while spending less money. I wanna thank you all for tagging me when you make one of our recipes over on Instagram. And if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you do. One word, frugal money saver. Our Instagram account just shows you what we do on a day-to-day -day basis, whatever we're up to. If you need a little bit more of Emmy and Paul, I don't know if you do, but if you do, that's where we are over on Instagram. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being a part of our channel. Our question today is, and please, please share with us because it really helps us. It encourages us. We're down to the last week of our no spend January. What do you all do for frugal entertainment? Share with us, encourage us. Maybe you have some fresh new ideas that we can implement. Let me know how you're doing on your no spend. And until our next video, we ask you to stay well. We ask you to stay safe. And above all, we wish you blessings. We love you so much. Stay tuned, Dixie's here. Bye-bye until our next video. Are you on your blankie? Look at that tail. Are you happy? You got your blankie. You are so proud. Yeah, that is your blankie.